History on the move on Liberty Island. The original torch carried proudly for nearly a century by Lady Liberty was relocated today to its new home. What a big move, but it took a whole lot of careful preparation and decision. I would assume reporter Kimberly Richardson has more. This isn't the most uh, difficult thing we've ever moved, but it's certainly the most important thing we've ever moved. Part of a national treasure which lights the way to freedom. If you were to travel up the 40-foot ladder, <laughs> up her arm, <laughs> you would come out there and the flame sits on top of that. Lady Liberty's torch, a magnificent copper and 24-karat gold piece, but it wasn't in her right hand when the statue, a gift from France, was dedicated in 1886. Take a look. Here is the original. 3,600 pounds, 16 feet tall, 12 feet across. It had been in place for close to a century, but in the mid-80s was taken down. The entire statue was closed for renovations. The torch has changed over time. The glass pieces that you'll see were not part of the original design. That was done in 1916. Um, but it in and of itself is an artifact. Which was on display in the base of the statue, but now it's finding a new home. Crews carefully move the pieces to the other side of Liberty Island, where the torch and a replica of her face will be front and center inside the new 26,000 square foot museum set to open in May. It's going to be in a much brighter space where more people can see it. It will be relit. This was an extremely tight squeeze. The door the torch had to fit through in order to get it out of the pedestal. Crews had very little wiggle room, only three quarters of an inch clearance on each side. We had to do a couple maneuvers to turn it in different ways to get it out. And in the end, smooth sailing, not a scratch on it.